Hello everyone and welcome to this logo design tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to design a letter P logo using the Path Builder tool. Now, no special software is required to pull this off. You can visit vectorinc.io in any mobile or desktop web browser if you wish to follow along and try this yourself. So to begin, let's click on Start Designing. And that'll bring you into the app. And once you're in the app, you can click on New Design, or if you're logged in, click on this plus button to go into the canvas. And then we're going to use the default document size, so click on Default. Now to begin, we want to start adding our shapes to the canvas. And we're going to use these shapes and have them work together to cut out the letter that we want. So let's activate the rectangle tool over here in the toolbar. And then click on it again to bring up the other shape tools. And we're going to click on the circle tool. And now on the canvas, you're going to hold shift and draw a circle under the screen. If you're using a mobile device or touch screen, you can use this constrain button, click on constrain, and that will allow you to draw a perfect circle. Now, now that we have our circle, we're going to center it on the screen on the canvas. So click on this align, align uh, X and align Y buttons. Let's scale it up to about right here. And then we're going to duplicate this circle and create a smaller circle in it. About there doesn't have to be any particular size that'll do. And let's select both of them and bring them up and then we're going to align it to the center again. So now that we have that Let's tap on the circle tool and tap on it again to bring up the shape tools and then select the line tool. We're going to just draw a line across the canvas about that size and align it to the outer circle. Duplicate the line and align it to the inner circle like so. Now we're going to select the inner circle and duplicate that. And we're going to have a circle here. And then we're going to add one right here under this. But we, we want we want the circle to to be the size of the width of these two lines. So tap on the handle if you're not seeing all of the transform handles. And we're going to we're going to transform the circles width so that way it's the width of these lines here, and it'll snap into place. And then grab the top one and bring it down. And drag it down until until it snaps into um, equal dimensions. Okay, so you should have something like this, a perfect circle. And then we're going to select the inner circle again. Tap duplicate. And bring it down until it snaps to the to the bottom of the outer circle. And then grab the top handle and drag it down till it snaps to the bottom of the inner circle. And then grab the right handle and drag it over until it snaps into uh, equal dimensions. And then drag the circle till it snaps to the center of these circles here. So you should have something like this so far. Now select the outer circle, duplicate that drag that over to until it snaps to the left of the inner circle. So it needs to be to snap to the left of the inner circle and align to the center of both circles vertically. Then we're going to duplicate that circle and drag it till it aligns to the top of the inner circle and to the center of both circles. So you should have something like this, a lot of circles. Looks a little complex, but when we use the Path Builder tool, we're going to clean this up quite a bit. So before we do anything else, let's open up our fill color, open up the color palette, and select a color palette. You can use random or use one of these predefined palettes in here. In the color palette library, I'm going to go with 
I'm just going to go with this one right here, this array of blues. Then we're going to highlight everything and then activate the Path Builder tool. Now we're going to start by selecting a color. I'm going to go from dark to light. So I'm going to select this blue and start building out the shapes. So the first shape we're going to build out, if you make a mistake like I just did, you can use this eraser to erase anything that got added accidentally and the pencil to add to add paths to your um, resulting shape here. All right, so you should have this shape right here. Now, a lot of designers, they like using the pencil for the whole thing. I personally like um, having it automatically try and find the paths, but that is prone to, uh, that is mistake prone. Um, so feel free to just use the pencil for everything and turn off sculpt mode so that you don't break anything that you've already created. So for instance, right now I've turned off sculpt mode and I have the join mode activated. And I'm going to start building out this next path here by selecting that path. Want that one. Want that one. Oop, made a mistake. Go back to the eraser. Let's delete that. Join mode, get that one, that one, and that one, right? Oh, I meant to change my color. Let's go back and fix this, like so. Okay, so that's how you can do it just using join mode with sculpt mode off. Let's come here, I'm going to select this color now so I First, I started with this color, this color, now I'm going with this color. It's lighter blue. And there we go. Oh, what happened? Too much got selected. There we go. Okay, so that turned blue. This extra orange is will not be included. So we're going to click off. And there we go. Well, that extra orange did create a little shape here that we don't need. So we can just highlight it. See right there. Click off. So I had minor complications, but it happens. And yeah, there we have it. There is our letter logo. Now from here, you can add a background color. You can add some gradients to this to give it a shadowy effect. But I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and app updates to Vector 